Well, if you ever wondered what I do on a Thursday morning that looks like this in North London, all kind of greyish, <laughs> well, I am going to Tai Chi. That's where I'm going. And you may wonder, why Tai Chi? Well, I don't know about you, but I feel the world has gone mad a bit. <laughs> and so, I was looking for something that would still my mind and get myself back into my body and away from the craziness. And Tai Chi seemed to be the thing that really calls to me in this way. So I think it has to do with not just the movement, of course. Oh, can you hear the birds? Not just the movement, as I said, but also breathing. So, of course, for those of you who don't know, I used to be uh, an opera singer and so of course breathing is very important and I teach it to my students because I have a few singing students that I teach on a regular basis so of course breathing is really important for that but it's more than that it really puts you in a state of calmness and a state of being in touch with your body as I said and you know in the crazy world we're living in often we are not in touch with our bodies because we are in our heads <laughs> and in our emotions and there's nothing wrong with that of course but I think it can lead to making us a little bit more mm, out there into the world and I think it's really really important that we come back to ourselves that we find a way to connect back to ourselves and feel who we are in our bodies still our minds use our breathing to calm and of course all these things is what Tai Chi does. It's very, very good for health. I'm sure you all know that. Um, and depression, things like that. But of course, also more severe medical conditions can benefit from Tai Chi. So I am very lucky because my Tai Chi class is just down the road from where I live. And I'll show you in a minute how fabulous it is. It's in a little church hall. And I love it. It's been going for nearly a year now. And I've been going every day, every Thursday, I should say. And I love it, I thoroughly enjoy it. So do the people who come, because they all come regularly too. So I guess there's definitely something in it. And it's very hypnotic to do. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but I can highly recommend it. And on that note, to enter the church hall where we have our classes and I will show you more.
go to that close with the man by the other hand and you welcome somebody and then the end is to close the hair and put down the toes. Yeah. Then why for him? Then you're going to turn closer, put the back foot forward, one in, hold the ball, hold the ball, and then hold it on back foot, the lower hand up. Yeah, and then you bring to sideways, the other palm face to the elbow. Yeah, and then you slide the hand down to sideways, hold up. Don't be side to side, don't be side to back, forward, reverse, yeah. And then up, just one heel, put the toe back, reverse. That's why, and then we fall together with both hands. Yeah, and then slide, soft, and let it in. And then good. And then put down and put the hand in the front. And then take the foot back like this. Again, palm facing down. We're going to do the second cocktail, last one. Yeah. Okay, then look down again. Yeah. Then set the foot back foot forward, one knee. Sit on the back foot, hold the ball, the lower hand vertical up, yeah. up to sideways. The, the other hand down to sideways. Yeah. Up the heel, take the toe back a little bit. Okay, and then you, I just want to put one down there. Okay, and now we go to all together. We continue. Okay, and now the other side. Side again, and then slide the hand down, take the toe back. Okay, then you want to do the half half lock. Slowly, so you have time and follow. Okay, hold on, don't move. Okay, now you can do follow me. Two, 
more hole, more brow. Other side, hold on. Ready, yeah. holding the ball. Yeah, do not the focus first. We're going to do it. Good, now, more off. Go back, slide a little bit. 